I understand now you are attracted to greatness because greatness is all in you. But it's easier to watch greatness. It's easier to go see greatness than it is to put in the time, to put in the energy, to, to discipline yourself, to sacrifice. It's easier. And so that's why you average. You've been doing the same thing. You at the same job. You experiencing the same things in your life. Nothing has changed. Everything about you is phenomenal, but you consciously made a decision to be average. You are average in school. You're average at your workplace. Like everything you do is average. And not because it's average, but because you made a decision. You made a choice to be average. Why? Because the people around you are average. Or maybe you grew up in an average environment or went to an average school or you work for an average company. And so you've decided. You've decided to go against who you are. No one else feels sorry for you. Only you do. That's the type of mindset like people aren't successful at life. They sit there and they feel sorry for themselves and they want all this fucking sympathy from everybody else. Yet they're not willing to go out there and make shit happen for themselves. Because this is not for everyone. This is not for the faint at heart. This is for people who have goals and dreams that they want to achieve. Everyone seems to think that this world, this government, somebody owes them something. Nobody owes you shit. If you want something, go out there and get it. Go out there and fucking take it. That's all there is to it. You could be great if you just showed up. Get in the game. Quit. Stop playing. You deserve to see what your life would look like if you gave 120%. You gotta run after your best. You gotta run after it. You gotta run after your destiny. 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 You gotta run after it. You gotta run. Because success is never an accident. And if you don't want it, get out of my way. Because there are some people who want to do something with their life who will run. The choice that we have though is either to give up or keep on going. I want to ask you, what are you going to believe? Are you going to believe in yourself? Are you going to believe everybody else's judgment on you? Like I want your dream to be so clear, so vivid, right? That when you wake up in the morning, all you got to do is step in your dream. I didn't get it until I got to this age, but I'm gonna start running. I messed up junior high, but now I'm gonna start running. I messed up high school, but now I'm gonna start running. The moment you get the word, you ought to run. The Bible said, the day you hear my voice, harden not your heart. When God gives you a chance at an escape, don't be cute, run after your death. My God, run! Run, do y'all hear me? Run after it! Run! Don't be ashamed! Run! You might be taller than me, you might be bigger than me, you might be stronger than me, but I'm coming and I'd rather die trying. I'd rather give a year. I'd rather put in work and fail. The harder you work, the harder it is to surrender. And that's in every aspect of life. Like this is your last day on the planet. I deserve to see what my life would look like if I gave 120%. I would rather aim for the stars and not hit them than to not aim at all. I would rather go after it and not get it than not go after it at all. I'd rather try and fail than not try at all. I don't want to live with the idea, wonder what would have happened had I done more with my life. I'm going to go for it, come hell or have water, I'm going after my destiny. You got to run after your destiny. You can't stroll after your destiny. You can't walk after your destiny. You got to run, run, run after your destiny. Run after it, run after it. Run! 
If you just run after what's in front of you, you will escape what's behind you. Don't spend all your time trying to fix what's behind you because you'll never be able to fix what's behind you. You have to run after what's